Hello everyone, this is Peak Entertainment and we are back again and this is a very sad video that we have to report on a very recent announcement that sadly actor Chadwick Boseman has tragically passed away. He died following a four year battle with colon cancer. He was diagnosed with colon cancer stage three level since 2016 and this was a very shocking revelation for mostly all of us i woke up earlier today saw the recent headlines and as usual before i make any videos i go through and i check multiple reports and articles before i indeed make a video on it myself and unfortunately yes he has sadly passed away and i'm extremely shocked just like many others because chadwick seemed to always have such a youthful and healthy energy about him he had that really bright smile he had that very somber and quiet demeanor about him but he just seemed very full of vitality and full of energy he passed away at the age of 43 and when i first came across him as an actor i always deemed it to be in his late 20s early 30s because he had that such youthful look about him there were a lot of concerns when he recently made an Instagram video on April the 15th of this year to celebrate Jackie Robinson Day. Of course, Jackie Robinson was an iconic figure that he played in the movie 42 that we'll mention later on. But there were many concerns by people because of his lean and gaunt appearance as he made the Instagram videos. But a lot of these concerns were kind of dismissed because, as we know, many actors we've seen over the years take on these extreme diets and weight loss in preparation for the roles so many of us assumed that that what Chadwick was doing he was just doing this in preparation for a future film role we had never really felt that he was suffering from any illness he kept it privately and I always respect that as someone who doesn't look to use whatever issues that they're going on in their personal lives to raise the profile of their own career and that's what's even more shocking because he had been consistently putting out output if you look at it from 42 which came out in 2013 to the roles that he'd been playing in most recently he had been quite a consistent performer in terms of the roles that he was playing and using on screen so the fact that he was coping with this illness while at the same time consistently producing these performances on screen is even more I think the more tragic and it's more of a testament to the man himself that he was dedicated to his profession that he would consistently go out there consistently get on the grind consistently produce this work and at the same time having to cope with this very serious illness that he had no one within the industry or that was closely connected to him made any kind of reference to this illness that he was suffering from so i can always respect him for that and i can respect many studios who surely would have had knowledge of this of what he was going through because chadwick would have had to inform them and i respect the fact that they gave him the time to really gain these roles and give him enough time to prepare for the roles that he was going through in the future so i can respect chadwick as an actor but most importantly as a person for the fact that he was continuing to pursue his career while having to deal with this very serious illness so if we look at his career which really was a very relatively short filmography really if you look at it when i came across as an actor i was very surprised that he had a very short output in terms of a cinematic career so if we go through his movies most notably of course as i mentioned before we have 42 which was released in 2013 where he played the iconic figure Jackie Robinson the first African-American baseball player to play Major League Baseball we look on of course Get On Up in 2014 where he played the iconic performer James Brown and I like that performance very much I think Chadwick did a very good job of really capturing the essence and the energy and the charisma of James Brown in that performance. He did a very good role in that film. He played Fergus Marshall, the first African-American Supreme Court of Justice in the Marshall film in 2017. And of course, we go on to what will be his most famous and iconic role, of course, is as T'Challa, the King of Wakanda, 
in the superhero movie Black Panther. He, of course, made the first appearance as that character in Captain America Civil War in 2016, which was massively successful and was the highest box office grosser movie of 2016. He, of course, then reprised that movie in Black Panther in 2018, which is a hugely successful and very significant superhero movie it ended up grossing over 1.3 billion dollars at the box office and many people praise all the actors in that movie but particularly Chadwick Boseman and I thought he did very well in giving us this very noble and very somber performance this very noble character of T'Challa and I think he was very good in that role and I think Black Panther still remains for me one of the most better entries within the MCU. He then reprised that role, of course, later on in Avengers Infinity War in 2019. And that went on to become the biggest box office grosser movie of that year, grossing over $2 billion at the box office. And he reprised the role again in a much more of a smaller appearance in Avengers Endgame, which, as we all know, remains now the highest box office gross movie of all time. We look at the more recent performances that he had been involved with, the 2019 thriller 21 Bridges, which was produced by the Russo brothers, who, as we all know, directed several Marvel movies, including Winter Soldier and, of course, the Avengers movies, Infinity War and Endgame. And his most recent role was the Spike Lee movie The Five Bloods in 2020, which had received huge critical acclaim. So there's definitely a consistent body of work that we can look back for Chadwick Boseman. And as I mentioned before, I have no doubt that Black Panther would have been a massive success. And I think he had the potential to go on to play a lot more substantial roles and become one of the more substantial actors within our current generation. So it's very much a shame, very much a tragedy. Again, at 43, he was a very young looking, very youthful looking 43 he seemed for the most part to be very well liked within the industry. You never heard anything too negative or too disparaging about him as a character or as an actor. If not most, if not all of the roles that he played with, he seemed to overall get a good reception within critics. He had that reputation as a very solid actor overall and who knows in the future as he continued with the roles he played in, he may have received or may have progressed to an even higher standard of performance and standing within the industry. So I just think it's a very shocking and very tragic news. My heart goes out to all of his family and all of his loved ones. I'm pretty sure we're going to see hundreds of tributes within the next couple of days and months. I've already seen loads of references and tributes within social media just really mourning the loss. A lot of people had a very fondness of the character, of the actor, of the man himself. And again, just from a personal point of view, I give major respect for him for coping with this illness at the same time, still producing these very good, solid performances. And for the most part, keeping it to himself. And I respect again a lot of the studios and the people around him for not broadcasting the fact that he was suffering from the illness and he just got on with it and was able to still get about his work and not use the illness in any way to try and propel his career in the long run and I respect him a lot for that so those are my thoughts on the very sad and tragic passing of Chadwick Boseman let me know what you think in the comments below what are his most favorite films of his that you hold most to your heart what do you feel are his best performances are there any movies within his career that you would like to see me to review let me know in the comments and i will of course do that in the future what did you think of him as a man as an actor what do you think a legacy that he will leave within the movie industry do you feel he did have an impact within the entertainment industry let me know in the comments what you think and I'm quite happy to do a further video on his career if you'd like me to do so in the future. Do you think he would have gone on to be an even bigger and more prolific actor following 
the future MCU entries, no doubt. We would have seen a couple of more Black Panther movies and maybe we would have seen him cross over with other characters within the franchise and no doubt he would have made further appearances in the Avengers movie. So I think his career definitely was in good health going forward. But let me know what you think about his career in the comments below. But that's it for now. Those are my thoughts on the very sad and tragic, unexpected passing of Chadwick Posen. Let me know what you think in the comments. That's it for now. Take care of yourselves. On a very sad reflection on the passing of Chadwick Boseman. That's it for now. Take care of yourselves. And I will see you very, very soon.